I believe we are all fine and that's yes. mm. another night of prayer Amen. to worship our God and Amen. rejoice for what he's doing for us. Do you love him? Amen. 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 Let me pray. Mm. Heavenly Father, it's another moment tonight we are gathered in your presence, oh God. For you said, wherever two or three are gathered in thy name, thou shalt be in the midst. Here tonight we are more than free, O God. And Lord Jesus Christ, your word is a designer. You know the intents of our hearts. And Lord, you know our needs. Father, I want to commit to every believer, every family presented here tonight, and those who will listen to us, O God, is my prayer. May your mercy and grace be with us, O God. May you direct your Holy Spirit, the Lord, there may be a deep calling to a deep from us, O God. The Lord, just like the Samaritan woman, when you met her, Lord, at the well, you spoke the word, the word spoke back, O God. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy, for the sustenance you've given us, O God, and I commit the reading of the word tonight. Father, I'm not even one to speak to your children. I have nothing I can speak to them, O oh God, but tonight I just want to surrender everything, O oh God, into your hands, that all we do, O oh Father, may it bring glory and honor to your name. We consecrate the all night into your hands, in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, we'll turn to the book of Isaiah, chapter 65. Just try to read the scriptures and go quickly to redeem time. From the book of Isaiah 65, we read from verse 17 to 25. <clears throat> if uh, you found it, if you are able to stand as we read the word of God, please, I will appreciate the same just in honor of the word of God. Wherever you are, if you can stand as we read the word. Isaiah 65, verse 17 to 25. For behold, I create a new heaven and a new earth. The former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem, a rejoicing and that people a joy. I repeat that. I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more things in infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinner being an hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. Amen. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Amen. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. And the lion shall eat straw like the bullock. The dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, saith the Lord. Amen. May be seated. May the Lord add blessings to His word. Amen. Wow. We read another scripture, but you may be seated for now. We read also from the book of Daniel, chapter nine, 
We could also read from the book of Jeremiah as we go on. Uh, tonight, by his grace, uh, I just want to share a few things the Lord has placed on my heart. And just for a moment, and then we can pray. For we believe in prayer. Our faith is founded on prayer. Amen. And we believe prayer is the way God has given for man even to communicate with him. Amen. And it's a direct line that we can talk to our God. Amen. Just Amen. before we read the other two scriptures where we've read to this morning, uh, sorry, this night, uh, I would like to speak on a thought that has my mind. Looking beyond. Looking beyond Amen. and when you think about beyond you see looking is an act you are looking at beyond is a, you, you are putting your mind at something Amen. you are putting you know is a sight so outside face mm. you are looking up to something ahead praise the lord Amen. When you are looking, you are looking beyond. You are looking at something. You are in expectation. You are looking at something ahead of you. Amen. The scripture I've read before I read the rest is basically as we go and think about the millennium. Amen. As believers, uh, this is not our home. We are pilgrims on our way. Hallelujah. This is not our homeland. We are seeking for our homeland to come. Here we are seeing Isaiah is prophesying of the future home in the millennium and what's going to happen. Amen. And that's the desire of a believer. Amen. And we saw here, be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. Amen. Because soon and very soon, this earth will pass away. That's right. It's going to be cleansed and the saints of God shall reign in it Amen. with the holiness of God. Yeah. And that's the purpose we are Christians. For he said, Behold, I create Jerusalem, a rejoicing, and her people a joy. Mm. There's going to be a joy. As Paul tells us, rejoice, be joyful. I say rejoice, and I say again, rejoice. Amen. The angels are going to sing. We are going to sing Hosanna, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. That's a home we are looking for as we move, as we run. There'll be no weeping. That's right. There'll be no crying. There'll be no there will be no sadness in that city because a new Jerusalem created by God himself. He says, I rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. When he look at you and I, he's going to see his victory. Amen. He's going to have joy in you and me. Praise God. Amen. And you see, the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her. Hallelujah. The voice of crying will not be with him again. And as we see, we shall build. We are in a moment where we are looking at it. Sometimes you work and you lose. Sometimes you expect and you do not get. But where we are going, where in habitation, will never be in vain. Praise the Lord. Otherwise, whatever you build, you will inhabit it. You will live in it because the Lord has given it unto you. Hallelujah. These are the days we are living in, and these are the days we are looking forward to. The days that many of God's children, they desire to be in. We are laboring. We are laboring as a curse. We know in the beginning when God created man, he didn't create man to suffer and sweat. But because of sin, we see man begin even to sweat and strain to survive and towards the ground that was cast, man wasn't. And God said, out of that ground, out of your sweat, we'll eat. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, if you may turn to the book of Daniel chapter 24, just as I laid this little foundation. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Daniel chapter 24 is a common scripture uh, we have listened to and uh, brothers have uh, preached on it. And it's a known scripture, and I'm not going to speak on that, but I just want to use it for a basic on what I'm thinking about looking beyond. Verse 24 of Daniel, um, uh, chapter 9. Bible says, 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sin and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring an everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy 
and to anoint the Most High. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now you see, this is Daniel, and I want to look at it because as we are looking beyond, we are looking beyond by the word of prophecy or the words of prophecy, and it's by the books. And as we're going to look at it, you see, even da Daniel, he lived in a land he had gone into, into captivity. But as he read the books, as he followed the books, he discovered that was not his home, but his time of redemption was coming. And we see Daniel was going through the books. And Daniel read the same, same books we might be reading tonight. And you see, if you read the seventh weeks of Daniel, it's a big message and a long one and very detailed and deep that we cannot even go into it and finish. But I'll just take a bit of my inspiration from what's in that message. Amen. The instructions of Gabriel, even to Daniel, and the sixfold purpose why Gabriel is coming to visit Daniel. Now we see, see here, God is giving to Daniel through the angel Gabriel, and Gabriel always visits the children of Israel. And you see, he's coming here with a message, with the purpose to finish even the transgression, to make an end of sin, because relation to iniquity, bring everlasting righteousness, seal up the vision of prophecy, and to anoint the most holy, Amen. most holy one. Now you see this purpose, this full purpose that the angel of God is speaking to Daniel. If we look at the scripture, it consolidates a bigger part of the mystery of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. And for us who are readers of the Bible, we know as the prophet has taught us through the revealing of the opening of the seven seals, we find the book of Revelation chapter 1 to 3 talks about the church ages. And we have three to four that speaks of the here up and things that are to happen. And when you come to Revelation chapter 6, 1 on through 19 to verse 21, of Revelation 19, it is now putting in the Jewish. And we can say Revelation 6, 1 up to 19 to 23 there, the Bible there equals to 70 weeks of Daniel and which has a lot of mystery because the word and the message of Brother Branham that we believe in is what the world doesn't get. And the faith we have is laid on the foundation of the gospel and the doctrine of the gospel of Christ Jesus. And as you look at the scripture, as you look at the word of God, you realize that a book of Genesis is hated by the devil because uh, as Genesis comes up, it shows us the foundation of the works and the operations of Satan. And as we move into the book of Revelation, it comes to reveal the end of Satan. Amen. Now, in between there, we are put in, and the bride of Christ Jesus is coming in between. Now, as we look at this scripture, as we look at the Bible from the book of Revelation to Genesis, Christ is revealed in it. And the bride of Christ Jesus, the wife, and Israel, the servant, is revealed in it. Now, as we come, we are looking beyond. Right now, each and every one of the believer, we are going through a strain of life. We are going through a wonder of what's going on. But these signs, as we read the book, and we read the books, and we're going to look at the prophecies of William Marlon Branham, then we realize that the things we are seeing, like the Bereans, if we can go to the Bible and begin to look at the word of God, then we're going to realize that all that we are seeing is written and hidden in the word of God, because every scripture speaks about Christ Jesus. Amen. You love him? Amen. Now, if we can miss uh, the book of Revelation, as I've indicated, there are 6 to 19, then you find all the vows, the pledges, you find the three and clean spirits, you're going to find that the walls, the casting out, even of the dragon, the woman in the sky, and these mysteries as they're coming, if I look at the social media, I see a lot of conspiracies on what is happening in the world today, and I see how they're looking and talking about the chips and figuring out the number 666 is going to be given by the devil even to conquer men and women, but as we go through these things as believers, we have a spirit of understanding, as you see Daniel is revealing to us 
a time that is coming when the desolate will be revealed and the brother Branham comes in and he reveals to us through the wisdom of understanding of gospel and the wisdom of understanding of scripture, we are not confused. Right. We are not tossed left and back because we have the voice of prophecy and we have the word written in the books. Now, as I speak to you tonight, brother and sister, I want you to realize and understand that you are a child of God and God has created you marvelously to overcome this age, to be a conqueror and an overcomer for his sake, not by my strength and your strength, but by his own making. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Daniel understood by the books. He looked beyond. Praise the Lord. And where we are now, we are going to understand by the book. You see, the Spirit of God in the Old Testament was upon, or it came to the prophets, and it put the prophets into a vision, and people like uh, Moses and the rest of them were able to see God, and they wrote about God because the Spirit of God came upon him. And when Jesus was on earth, the Spirit of God, him God, Jehovah, God, Emmanuel, that Spirit of God was with us. It walked with us. We beheld him. We touched him, the light, the life to the world. And that Jesus, who was the Holy Ghost in flesh, he walked in a man called Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The Messiah, the Almighty God, Emmanuel, God with us. Amen. Now, in the evening time, as he comes through the revelation of the Son of Man, he comes back now, not with us, but he is in us. Now, the things the prophets were looking for, seeking for, as I'm speaking to you tonight, I'm praying God to help me and help you to begin Amen. to look at something. We are not living for vanity. We are not living in void. We are walk, not walking in void. Even if we die, we are just not dying like dogs, because in us there is a soul. We are heading to something somewhere and that is our target tonight where are you looking at what are you seeing tonight as you walk in the streets of united states as you go to that office as you go to that place you are as you are going to school whatever you are doing what are you living for are you just living for a degree are you just looking for a dollar we are looking beyond to something we are beholding something we are receiving in our eyesight through faith we are looking through the eyes of faith beyond this generation. We are looking beyond to see something. Hallelujah. Amen. Time is coming. Hallelujah. And time has come Amen. that we must recognize who we are. Amen. And you see, as Daniel, he, he went into captivity and they were in captivity for many years. And we see in BC 606 to 538 BC, he was in there for. 68 years and two years coming to an end when he began to look at the book of Jeremiah, the same scriptures we read and we will read, we see he realizes that it's about two years from what I'm seeing from prophecy. And tonight as I speak to your friends, Brother Branham was not sent on earth just to speak and die and go and for us to come in and call ourselves believers and walk and walk and die and go. Just as the prophets were on earth, just like Jeremiah was on earth, Isaiah and the rest of them as we are going to see, we see Isaiah even speak about the millennium, speaking after the hereafter. We see Isaiah speak about Calvary, it came to pass. And if Brother Branham had a thus says the Lord, and he spoke, you as a Christian, I as a believer, is the moment in time that I must begin to look at myself and begin to ask a question, what is it in the book that pertains to me? What am I living for tonight? What does God call me to do tonight? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, two years are determined even for a day of redemption to be. And you see, Jeremiah had spoken what was going to happen. And remember, Daniel being here, he even didn't have the Holy Ghost. He lived for 68 years and defiled. He was with the heathens, but he was holy. And brother and sister, I'm calling you tonight. If you are son of God, it does not matter what you are going through. It does not matter your challenges. God is calling you to live holy. 
Don't Amen. be a partaker of the heathens and the things and the worship of the heathens because God has put his eyes on his children. And if you are a believer, you are a child of God tonight as I'm speaking to you. If you believe God, he has enough capacity as you will see to take care of you. And that's why Brother Branham is calling you only believe. All things are possible. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He understood by books. Remember, he could only offer the bulls and the blood of bulls and goats and heifer. There was no blood of Jesus. And he believed God. And he sacked the books. Friends, this is not the moment to be lazy. This is the moment to seek God. Amen. This is the moment to know what God is speaking to us about who we are. Why were they in captivity? It's because of their sins. That's right. It's because of ungodliness. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, friend, tonight, if you are not holy before God, I want to announce to you, you are living in captivity. Amen. If your life is not pure before the living God, you are ungodly. Amen. Your prayer, God cannot answer. Amen. But request God cannot listen Amen. because God does not listen to sinners. Amen. But if you are holy, you are righteous before God, you are a godly man, you are a godly woman, there is nothing that's going to come before you that you cannot defeat. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Daniel didn't have a church service, but he understood by the books. He understood by prophecy. And he looked beyond for the seven weeks. He looked beyond the time of their redemption. Hallelujah. Tonight we have a voice of the prophet. We have Brother Branham prophecies. Hallelujah. Try to look at a few notes from the prophet. What he says for us in this day. I know it's a night of prayer. This message requires a good time. But I'll just maybe peruse a few trees, and then with good time, you can go to pray. Amen. So the prophet says, and if Daniel, the prophet of the Lord, could consult Jeremiah's books, praise God, and bring him to such a place that even Israel coming out, all of them alive, was coming out of Babylon to go back to the homeland, would cause him to fast with sackcloth and ashes. How much more ought it do to the church of the living God, to know that time is fading out and shall be no more, and the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the great millennium ready to set in? How can we spend wasteless time gambling, swimming halls on Sundays and no time for God? Praise the Lord. Amen. Look where we are. A complete kingdom with no church, no go-to, none, nowhere else to go. It was torn down and burned down. His city, his people was captive. 68 years, 68, 69, 70. He had two years left. So when he began to read in the book and see that time was drawing nigh to fulfill, be fulfilled, he went to God in prayer to find out about it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you can discover where I am, where you are tonight, what a time, what we are doing, when nations are breaking, hallelujah. Amen. The seas are roaring, brother. Man's hearts are failing for fear. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a perplexing time. All these things, the handwriting, the Bible says, is on the wall. Russia disintegration. All kinds of evils are going on in the world, fuses and fights. Weapons are hanging in the air. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Man doesn't want to do, doesn't know what to do with man himself. Praise God. Amen. But the Holy Spirit is moving in the church of the living God. Amen. His power. Hallelujah. He's showing himself to the elect. You see, as he's talking, as the world in this confusion, God is showing himself to his elect. Hallelujah. Amen. He's revealing himself. 
prophet is asking, how can we set slothful? How can we just run on top of it? Time we are checking up, watching for that great hour appearing. We are in a moment that the world doesn't know what to do. But tonight, I have a small message for you. Look beyond what you are seeing. Look to the world with the eyes of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, if you look at the book of Jeremiah 23 because of time, 25, I'll not read it because of time. But that's where we see even Daniel read it. If you have time, you can read that chapter. And he heard from the prophet, thus says the Lord. And he realized the time and the moment that was left for the time to go. Behold, I will send and take all the families of the north, says the Lord. And Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and will bring them again against the land and against the inhabitants thereof, and against all the nations around about, and I will utterly destroy them. Hallelujah. Amen. I will take them from the voice of meat, the voice of gladness, the voice of bridegroom, the voice of the bird, the second of millstone, the light of the candle. Hallelujah. Amen. And this all land will be desolate. And you see, when Daniel is speaking, even the man of desolation, and Daniel is looking at the end time, and he's about to write, and he's told, right now, stop, they're done, because the time for these things has not come. And you see, Daniel desired to be in this moment we are in. If I had enough time to just go, you see, there is the sixfold purpose why Gabriel is visiting even Daniel. And most of it goes to the church in Israel and a bit of it because the seven weeks, if we read it well, you see in between there the Messiah is coming and is cut off by his brethren. And he goes out and as he's cut off, he's enjoined to the bride and the bridegroom comes in there and the bride are joined together. And as we saw from the book of Revelation, chapter one up to six there, in between there up to chapter three, the bride leaves and then disappears. And then God is going back to Israel. And when he comes in the chapter of Revelation 19, the bride is coming back. Friends, let me tell you, tonight, as we read the scriptures, as we search the word of God, everything has been given to us and is preparing us to the takeoff. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because this generation is going to be desolate. Bible says the man of sin must be revealed first. Amen. And through the ministry, through the revelation of the seven souls, we know these things. I'm not going into them tonight. But what am I targeting for you to catch tonight? We are looking beyond. Amen. We are not confused. Amen. And sister, brother, it's time to run. The way the prophet said, run, stay in line. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is not time for games. This is not time to go to church and waste time. This is the time to reconcile myself. For you to reconcile yourself. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. The whole land shall become desolate. Hallelujah. Amen. That everybody just look and say, there they are. They were so great. Look at them now. And this nation shall serve the king of Babylon 70 years. Mm -hmm. And that's lifetime. That's when your own blessed old mother was a baby. They were in there without God, without a church, without a song, without anything for a complete generation till all oh, the sinning generation died out. Over says, and shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished, then I will punish the king of Babylon. And the nation says the Lord for the iniquity and the land of children, and will make it perpetual desolation. And I will bring upon that land all my words which are pronounced against it, even all that is written in the book, which Jeremiah has prophesied against all the nation. It's a good time to speak about these things step by step. Hallelujah. Amen. For many Amen. nations and great kings shall serve themselves, themselves of them also, and I will commit according to their deeds, and according to their words, of their own land. Thus says the Lord, God of Israel, unto me, take the wine of the cup, fury of my hand, and cast it on nations to whom I will send thee, to drink of it. In other words, Jeremiah, I've given you this message. 
Don't, st don't stay in one place, but prophesy to all nations. Do you follow it? Prophesy to all the nations. Show my signs and wonders and let them know that it is my coming to, my coming to do this. And they shall drink and be moved and be moved because of the word that I will send among them. You see, when Jeremiah sent this word, the prophet said, they'll be moved. They'll be mad. In other words, they'll be crazy. And that's when we are talking about the scriptures and the things of God tonight. They, you, sometimes you become crazy. You feel, why this? But the word of God is powerful. You see, when you take wine, for those who are drinking wine, there is some power in it and it's an intoxicant. And when people drink it, they begin to behave in a certain way. There's a certain power in the wine. And if you are receiving that wine, if you drink or partake of it, the Holy Spirit, it intoxicates you, it gives you power, and when you receive that power of the Holy Spirit, it begins to work in you, you begin to react. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You have the Holy Ghost? Amen. Amen. Americans are complaining they can't go to the field at MetLife and all these big stadiums. And celebrate their teams that are figuring out how. When you get into the study, you get into the spirit. And if you have received the message, you have received the Holy Spirit, you are getting the spirit of the word. Amen. And when you hear the word, you hear the doors of the word are getting opened, you get excited. You want to shout for the team. You want to shout for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But what do they do in this day? They call you a false prophet, call you a compromiser, call you a fanatic, a soul sayer, dream of dreams, or the kind of mental telepathy. They will be mad. And they will, the word mad, if you break it down, means crazy. They actually go crazy and say, oh, pay no attention. That holy Lord and nonsense because of the word that I will send amongst you. This message is not very popular. This message does not look very beautiful, but this message is the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the history is repeating itself. Just like Jeremiah prophesied. Just as the prophets prophesied. Just like Daniel spoke and was written in the books. Brother Branham has spoken and written in the books. Amen. That's why by the spirit of God, he was told to store the food for the due season. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You love him? Amen. Yeah. Jeremiah took the word of the Lord, which is the wine. And as I've said, that wine is the power of his word. It's the power behind the word. And when we take the Lord's word, hallelujah, Amen. it has power behind it. Amen. We have to exercise the power in the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you happy tonight? Amen. Amen. Daniel read the same scripture. Brother Branham read the same scripture. Written by the prophets behind them. And we are reading the same scriptures. Now my question tonight, when I read the Bible, when I read the message, does it stimulate me? Hallelujah. Amen. What does it do to me? When you are walking into the land of captivity, when you are looking and walking in this land of the evil one, what does what do to you? Daniel stood by himself. He stood alone. But he served the living God. Amen. You may feel you are alone. You may feel your husband has left you. You may feel your wife has left you. You may feel you have no family to take care of you. But Daniel was alone. He stood by himself. Amen. He didn't serve the heathens. Praise the Lord. Amen. But he wrote the words. And those words have become Amen. a reality today. Prophet says, oh God, if there ever was a time that we ought to be setting ourselves in order to pray, it is now. Amen. For we as his true servants, we see by the letter of the apostles, by the warnings of the Holy Spirit, 
that we are in the last day. The Holy Spirit speaks that in the last days men will be heady, high-minded, lovers of pressure more than lovers of God. Hallelujah. Truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, spices of those that are good. I understand by the Bible. I understand by scripture. When you go to the office and you are ridiculed, when you are walking onto those roads and driving and some drivers are cursing and lifting their hands to you, then I understand by scripture. I understand by the letters. I understand by the message. Amen. This is the time for me to go home. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I understand that there comes scoffers in the last days. Amen. I understand there'll be a nation rising against the nation. Amen. By the books, I understand. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But tidal waves of life in the last days. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. There'll be fearful signs. Let me tell you, friends, the Bible says in the last days, men's hearts will fail for fear. Amen. Let me tell you, there is coronavirus. Mm -hmm. There are other viruses coming. There is all the challenges, the big and the small, the great, the educated, they don't know what to do. That's right. But this is the beginning of the end. Amen. Hallelujah. I was sharing with some friends yesterday, and I told them right now, people are scared of death because they don't want to die. But time is coming, friends. People are going to call for death to find them, Amen. but death will reject them. Time Amen. is coming. It's going to be very difficult. Amen. This is the time to run. This is the time to remember who we are. This is the time to call upon the Lord. This is the time to find our secret chamber and begin to look into the book and call and pray for our day of redemption. Amen. Love him. Amen. Hallelujah. Men's hearts are failing for fear. There'll be, there'll be perplexity. Hallelujah. Amen. During this time is already happening. Brother Branham said he understood by the signs. He understood by the scripture that this time will be coming. He died many years back. But in this time we are living, if we are studying the message, the very, very words he spoke, they are happening in our eyes, friends. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord. Women will bob of their hair in the last days. They'll wear short clothes. They'll walk with high heel shoes, tickling as they go in these last days. Their morale will be very low in the last days. Preachers will be false shepherds in the last days. Preaching what they want to hear. Preaching what they want to know. Preaching for money. Oh, hallelujah. God have mercy on us to call upon his name, to search for his truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Good news. Amen. Understand there will be a voice in the last days crying out in the wilderness, calling the people back to the original message, Amen. back to the things of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Back to the book. You love him? Amen. Amen. That will be famine. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't there famine? Amen. You know, time is coming. Mm. There is a greater famine. Mm. Not just of milk and bread, mm. but it's famine. Mm. Great famine for the truth, mm. for the word of God. Amen. I'm inviting you tonight mm. to the storehouse of God. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. I'm inviting you into the storehouse. Amen. Where you can hear the truth, the word of God. Because they run from east, from west, from north mm -hmm. to the south, seeking to hear the word of truth. Amen. The word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The churches will be organized and tightened up. They will fail to hear it. Hallelujah. Amen. We understand by the books. We are looking beyond to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, Amen. Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Lord, by the written word of God, <laughs> Israel is turning back. Mm. The United States, the president of the United States, the cognizing and Jerusalem as a country of the United States. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Where are we? You love it? Amen. Amen. 
we are in the last days. Mm -hmm. The prophet seen the time was nearly fulfilled down there in Babylon. Amen. He began to okay. seek God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And tonight as I speak to you, as we look at these scriptures, what are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Have you been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. Have you received the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. Have you surrendered your life to Christ Jesus? Mm -hmm. My brother, my sister, tonight we want to speak. Mm -hmm. Man talk one on one. Mm -hmm. It's about you and mm -hmm. God. That's true. Tonight, mm -hmm. as I'm talking to you, Mm. Maybe the man, maybe you are a wife, maybe mm. you are a husband, mm. maybe you, your wife made you not go to church, mm. maybe your husband made you not go to church. Mm. But tonight there are people who are dying from coronavirus, mm. but the loved ones cannot even bury them. That's true. God's love mm. is greater than anything. That's true. That's God's true. love is greater than the mm. dollars we are looking for. That's true. God's Amen. love is more than the jobs we think about. God's love Amen. is better than the degrees we have. Amen. Can you receive the ministering spirits? Can you receive the spirit, the testimony of the minister of Christ? That to know you receive the message through the prophecy of the end time. Amen. When Gabriel appeared to Daniel, he had a purpose. He had an instruction even to Daniel to fulfill the sixfold. And they cover all that we have. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. Daniel was trying to find out how much longer, Lord, will it be for now? Jeremiah, the prophet who has summoned my brother, has prophesied 68 years ago. There are 70 years that these people will stay here. The old, gen old generation practically gone. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There's nothing that can stand before you and me. That's right. Tonight and this morning I was just thinking. As a believer, as a son of God, as a daughter of God, what is this that's stopping us to receive the privilege God has given us? What's this that's standing between me and God? What's this that I'm not doing? When Joshua was told, whatever you possess, that will be your land. And Joshua is the Holy Ghost. The book of Ephesus to the bride. Now, if you receive the Holy Spirit, if you receive the Holy Ghost, amen, amen, amen. then God's promise is yeah, is yes. God's promise is for you. And as I'm calling you tonight, brother, sister, you can speak, you can do what you want, but I want to tell you tonight, God's word is true. Amen. Amen. And when he says his word, it will never turn back to him without fulfilling yeah. what he put it to fulfill. Amen. God is looking for men and women right. tonight who can seek for the promises God has given them. Help us, Lord. God is looking tonight for women and men who can say, God, this is mine. Amen. You promised in thy word. Yes, there's a situation. Maybe it's your family. Maybe it's your child, maybe it's your husband, maybe it's your wife, maybe it's your mother. There's that situation. There's a mountain that you are facing tonight. Maybe it's a sickness. Amen. We have the voice of prophecy and the voice of prophecy that was here. Amen. In the voice of prophecy, we have a ministry. Amen. We had on Wednesday the ministering spirits. Amen. 
We have a ministry. Amen. And we have received a ministry. And we give this ministry to the world. We are drinking the wine. Like God told Jeremiah, drink the wine and take it to the nations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This wine is a stimulant. When you take it, you can't help yourself. You speak the things of God. Amen. They look at you. You are mad. Mm. You're crazy. Mm -hmm. You're a holy roller. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. You love him? Amen. Amen. You love him, brother, sister? All right. Mm. Daniel, after Amen. he read the books, he went into prayer. Read the books. He went into the prayer. Listen, Brother Branham, as he speaks through the prayer lines, and sometimes he'll call people into a private room for a private conversation, and they'll have a conversation with them, and sometimes they'll have prayer cards and say, if you have some private thing, we can talk and discuss and seek God's will upon it. Maybe as you are looking at yourself, you think this situation is only God. God is in his word. Amen. There's a provided way. Hallelujah. Amen. There's an angel of God standing behind you tonight. And I want to tell you something. When Abraham obeyed God, he's the father of faith. The Bible says he believed God. He never staggered at the promises of God. When he went to sacrifice, the only thing he had, but the test of his faith, you see, the sacrifice was right behind him. Yeah. It didn't come from too far. Your blessing is next to you. When Moses was crying and crying and crying, looking at the environment, looking at the situation, was asked, why cry? What do you have? Tonight, my brother, my sister, what do you have? Are you weeping? Amen. Are you in a situation? My question tonight, can you look beyond? Are you looking beyond the batch skin you are in? Are you looking beyond yourself? Are you discovering that you are holy, pe peculiar priesthood of the living God? Can you say amen to that? Amen. Are you a son of God? Hallelujah. Have you done everything that God wants you to do? Amen. Speak amen. the word. Amen. And when you speak the word, believe. Amen. The blind man said, I can see, I can see, I can see, I can see. Yes, ah, the pastor prayed for me. Oh, the minister prayed for me. But the pain is still there. But I'm healed. I am healed. In Jesus' name, I am healed. You must confess it. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Send the pledges that three spirits. There's the spirit of the frog. The spirit of the frog is the spirit of the evil one. The frogs look behind. The frogs look back. Amen. It's an evil spirit. Let me tell you, brother, sister, maybe your family background, maybe it's not so beautiful. We have had people, maybe in their family, they had debt, and in a certain chain of debt. And when a disease comes, you begin to rethink about your uncle, your, your, your great grand, and the other one who died from this situation. Let me tell you, when you receive the blood of Jesus, all the evil lineage is cut off from your life. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. The spirits of our families die. We receive the spirit of Christ. Are you a believer tonight? Amen. Do you love him? Amen. Amen. He went into prayer after reading books. Hallelujah. Amen. From prayer, he was instructed. 
he took the word from the prophet. It was revealed to him. And the things he wrote about. Brother Branham visited the same things. And I just want to give you a small bit as I close, as you go to go into prayer time. I know some are going to work tonight. But I want to show you something. How can I overcome? I must know who I am. Amen. I must know the tricks that they would use on me. Is that right? Amen. The scripture says if a man is going to war, he weighs himself and he sees how worthy he is. He prepares himself. He trains himself. Hallelujah. Amen. Even some of our sisters, you are working in the medical world. If you are going to meet a patient, you are not just going there and say, you know, I'm a believer. I'm just going to go. God will take care of me because I believe God. You weigh yourself because God has given you the spirit to do the right thing. Is that right? Amen. And when you are walking out into the field, you must know who you are. You must dress as a believer. Our brother Jeff spoke to us, putting on the breast, the shield of salvation, the armor of God. And after putting it on, stand. How are you standing? You are standing on the rock, Jesus Christ, because you know whom you believed. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. I know all the thoughts that I think towards mm -hmm. thee. Hallelujah. Amen. Say yes, the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. He's here tonight. He is where you are. Just have faith in God. Be ready to sacrifice to God. When Abraham lifted the eye to pull the knife into the only son, that if this job is taking me away from God, I'm going to sacrifice it. If this situation is going to take me, I'm going to put God number one. God held the hand. Don't look back. There was a lamb for sacrifice. The Lord shall provide a lamb for you tonight. Yeah. If you can surrender all, if you are willing to give all, if you are willing to say, Lord, I come as I am. If you are willing to say, I am you as Lord, do with me as you choose. Friends, nothing is impossible before our God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give you an expected end. Then shall he call upon, the, upon me, and he shall go and pray unto me, and I'll hear. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll hearken unto thee. Praise God. You have to seek him. You shall seek me. And he'll find me. When he shall search, search for me. Where is God? Are you there? Amen. When he shall search for me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Brother Pedro, God bless you. God bless you, Bishop Golden. Amen. Have you ever lost your phone or misplaced it? Yes, all the time. So do you go looking for it? Definitely. Did you find it? For sure. What were you looking for? For the phone. Did you know it? I know it somewhere. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you Amen. search for what you don't know? No. You must know God to search him. Amen. Because when you know God and you're searching for him, when he begins to speak to you, you know he's talking to me right now. Amen. 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 
Hallelujah. Amen. When Brother Branham was in the pulpit, he was waiting for the voice. And he began to speak. And he could turn around. And he could tell some stories. And those who are good message listeners, and you can see the prophet and you can hear him speak and turn around with boldness and say, I take every spirit in my control because he's here right now. What came around? Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, amen. But I know I have believed and I'm persuaded that he is able. Oh, but I know Oh, and I'm a sway Oh, that he said To give Hallelujah! Yes, my brother, tonight as we go to pray, I know whom I have believed. I'm persuading all that I have committed. Yes, young man, yes, brother, sister, the mm. devil may point you to your background. The mm. devil may point you to your weakness. The mm. devil may tell you you are not capable. The mm. devil may tell you you are just a woman. You are mm. just not a woman. You are a son and a daughter of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Search for me with all thy heart. You must search for him. Right now is moment of fellowship. If you are in the house tonight, let me tell you, friends, take the things of God serious. Don't just assume because you're in the house you can do what you want. It's time for you to speak to God. Amen. This gospel is dripping with blood. It's a holy ghost gospel. Some were crucified upside down. Some were thrown into fire. Some into the den of lions. For the sake of the gospel. This gospel is a war. It's a battle. We are fighting the flesh. The flesh I have. This flesh is my greatest enemy. Amen. Gets tired. Complains. Cries all the time. Gets sick. Sometimes is defeated. I fight my flesh. Every day, every night. Amen. I dare thee. Amen. But I know whom I believed. Amen. I'm persuaded. Even in my weakest point, he's much more than able to take all that I've committed unto him that day. Are we together? Amen. Are we together, saints? Amen. When you shall search for him, for me, with all your heart, then shall I be found. That's total commitment to God. Let's pray like we mean it. In desperation for God, looking beyond. When you are praying tonight, yes, you are looking beyond your situation. There's unemployment right now. People are losing jobs. There is no hope. There seems to be no hope. But you are righteous of God. He said he'll take care of you. He says he cares for you. When the devil is asking, what shall I do? God already knows what you're going to do. Just give yourself, search for him, seek for him. Give yourself wholly to him. He'll provide. Amen. The Lord shall provide. He's Jehovah Jireh. Yes, your boss may talk down at you. He may squeeze you down. But Jehovah God is creating a new Jerusalem, a new city. And he'll join New Jerusalem. He'll join his people. He's preparing you to realize this is not your word, friend. This is not your home, friend. 
You are pilgrim, you are taking off. You are moving out. He's charging you to take off. You love him? Are we together? Amen. Are we together? Amen. Can you say amen? Can I hear amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Can I hear amen? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank amen. you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Why don't you give him a clap? Hallelujah. 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 Would you love to live for him? Amen. Would you love to serve him? Hallelujah. Oh, he's able. Amen. He's able, friends. I'll just sing one chorus of this song. In that city where the lamb is a light. Can harm it? Amen. Just think of that city. When you walk in that city. Hallelujah. Amen. The lamb is a light. There's a country far beyond the scary sky. There's a city where there never comes an eye. If we are faithful, we shall go there by and by. There's a city where the lamb is a in the city where the lamb is the lamb, the city where they are coming to, of a mansion over there, and when we live from twelve, I am going where the lamb is yeah, we have our days of sunshine, but we know all the sun which shines upon us now will be changed to clouds and rain until we go to the sea. In the city where the city where they are coming to have a mansion of a I am going where the land is There the flowers bloom for me and the day shall be one eternal day without night. And your tears shall be forever right away. In the city where the land the have a mansion on the land and free from all and I am gone. Yeah, we have a disappointment in the and our fond of all that we will be a blind. Oh, I might be with the morning brings us in the city where the world is. Hallelujah. In the city where the world is. Sitting where they are coming, 
to challenge the devil. Yes, this is the moment to say it's done. Oh, it is done. Yes, it is done. Yes. This condition I'm in is done. Thank you, this Lord. is the moment. Amen. I can read from the books. Yes. I can see from the message. Amen. I can hear the voice yes. of the prophet. Yes. The voice Amen. of God. Tonight is my time. Tonight is my moment. It's time for me to take on. Take the devil. Yes. You can defeat the devil in yes. a time, in a condition, in yes. a moment. So Amen, that's to have the Lord Thank Jesus Christ on the side. Oh, to oh hallelujah. Amen, Tonight, if we can seek him with all our mm. hearts, Amen, Lord. we will find him. Mm. Oh, dear Father, that's true, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, dear Lord Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Why don't we get into prayer now? Oh, As I'm calling Lord. our precious Pastor Paul to come and close, why don't we get in prayer right now? Amen, Lord. Can you speak to him in your own way? Mm. Speak to him. Yes, Lord. Be yourself in the book. Mm. The day of redemption, brother, sister. Mm. This is the time. Mm. This is the day of our redemption. Yes, Lord. The commission has been given mm. through another angel, the voice of Elijah. Mm. As you go to pray, God bless you, Brother Paul. Please. 